Right, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahushai, and double honors unto the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And honest you brothers out there in the highways and the byways. Teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. You know, shalom to you brothers out there that's listening and learning, supporting the gospel, and um, to the sisters as well. And um, this is going to be like a continuation, you know, on understanding the gospel, you know, and um, in regards to the Messiah and um, the salvation and how um, sal the salvation of, of Israel is um, by way of an elect who would uh, take heed to the gospel, to the spirit. Um, now, you know, according to Christianity, they would have you believe that when Paul wrote the letters to the church in Corinth that these letters were to um, the seed of the heathen and by seed of the heathen I mean these people their physical biological lineage was um, of a lineage other than of Abraham Isaac and Jacob but um, what you're going to find out is that the, those of, of Corinth who um, believed in the gospel that were given the gift to uh, to hear and understand and see the gospel were Israelites who were of the seed of Abraham of Abraham Isaac and Jacob who had been lost and scattered among the heathen who were predestined to return to the father and be partakers of the salvation in Yahweh by sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth all right and it's all a fulfillment of prophecy it's all a fulfillment of prophecy now what i want to do is i want to go into second corinthians um i want to hit a point in the 17th verse on down um something that paul said to the corinthians which was a, a quote um, from the, um, the, the, the Tanakh, from the prophets. And the thing is, is when you, when you go back and you reference these quotes, you find out that the subject matter of these quotations and verbal allusions was always the seed of Israel, which would mean that these Corinthians had to play that part. Okay, of course, you got other scriptures that tell you how the Corinthians, the church in Corinth, their fathers were under the cloud and were with Moses, which proves they were Israelites. But I'm going to focus in on this particular um, scripture. And what I'm going to use is I like to go into the, the treasury of knowledge because they know um, the scriptures which link up with these particular um, precepts. But what they do is they don't explain to the people, man, how that shows you that it's all about the seed of Israel, okay? So, 2 Corinthians 6 and 17, it says, Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Now, the unclean thing is um, the false ideologies, false philosophies, and idolatry. So, so the, these, uh, um, these, the church at Corinth were commanded to come out from among them, among who, among the heathen, and separate themselves, meaning to make themselves holy and touch not the unclean thing, and the Lord will receive them. And it goes on to say, and the Lord will be a father unto them, and I will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters saith the Lord Almighty all right so what I want to do is I want to go into the 17th verse and we're going to have a quick look at the cross references now this particular scriptures go back to um, Isaiah 52 and 11 now when you go back to Isaiah 52 and 11 all right. 
kind of go directly to it. No, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to come back to Second Corinthians six. We're gonna read leading down to the eleventh verse, and you're gonna see that this pertains. This prophecy pertains to Israelites. Okay. Isaiah 52 and 1, awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Now, who is Zion? The monument of the heavenly father is the nation of Israel, the seed of, of Abraham, his friend. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city, for henceforth, henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Okay. Shake thyself from the dust, arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thy sense from the, from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. And first and foremost, the number th one thing we were captivated unto was sin, darkness. For thus saith the Lord, ye have sold your souls for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. Who sold them souls for naught? The Israelites. Okay, they wandered away from the Lord into a way which was not good, into idolatry. For thus saith the Lord, sorry, for thus saith the Lord, that Lord God, my people went down aforetime into Egypt to sojourn there, and the Assyrian oppressed them without cause. Now therefore, what have I here, saith the Lord, that my people is taken away for naught? What people? The Israelites, the seed of Abraham, his friend. They have they that rule over them make them to howl, saith the Lord, and my name continually ever every day is blasphemed. Therefore, for my people shall know my name. And that's a cut to IUIC. The Lord was gonna have it where the day would come where the people will know his name. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak. Behold, it is I. Yeah, because the Lord hath prophesied our salvation and none other they, look 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 there is no other book other than in the word of the heavenly father which is the bible which prophesies the redemption and the restoration of the kingdom of israel you you can't go to the quran the quran don't speak about the salvation of the children of israel there is there is none other which speaks of the destruction of america and the great salvation of the nation of Israel and the enslavement and subjugation of the other nations. Therefore, when these things come to pass, who shall we attribute it to? But unto Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. All right? Because the prophets which told us of these things came in the name of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Okay? How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of them that bringeth good tidings. What's the gospel? The gospel is the, the the restoration of the nation of Israel, but it happen, it's gonna happen through an elect that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, thy God reigneth. Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice, which that's that's happening now, with the voice together shall they sing, for they shall see eye to eye when the Lord shall bring again zion when the lord shall save zion again okay break forth into joy sing together ye waste places of jerusalem for the lord have comforted his people so when the lord sent the comforter <laughs> who was the comforter for his people he have redeemed jerusalem what did yahweh shai do did he not redeem did he not did he not sacrifice himself for the redemption of a people what people were redeemed through the sacrifice of the Messiah? Jerusalem. The Lord hath made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of the Most High, because Israel is going to be saved from among all the different nations. All right? They're going to be seeing Israelites getting beamed up into chariots. For ye shall not go out with haste, nor by flight. For the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your reward. Re-reward. Okay? 
Now, that goes into depart ye, depart ye, go ye out from thence. Touch no unclean thing, go ye out from the midst of her, be ye clean that bear the vessels of the Lord. So, did Paul, Paul was, was, um, was uh, uh, um, alluding to this. All right. So, so what Paul was speaking about to the Corinthians, the Corinthians played a part in the restoration of Zion because those Corinthians were of Israel. They were of Zion. Behold, my servant shall deal prudently. He shall be exalted and extolled and be very high. As many as were astonished at thee, his visage was so marred more than any man and his form more than the sons of men. And he's talking about the Messiah. So shall he sprinkle many nations. The king shall shut their mouths at him. For that which had not been told them shall they see, and that which they had not heard shall they consider. All right, so let's jump back to 2 Corinthians. It's all about Israel. So the Corinthians had to be Israelites if they were going to play that role. All right, let me see if there's anything else. And then I'll move on to the next uh, verse. All right, that was the point on that. Right, so what I want to do is, so we just showed you that 2 Corinthians 6 and 17 goes back to Isaiah 52, which again is about the salvation of Israel, which is about the salvation of Zion. These Corinthians were Israelites, and they were, they were to be part of that salvation, which is prophesied. Let's jump down to 18. And will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. Now let's see who this applies to in prophecy. I mean, we could go in. Jeremiah 31. Going down to 39. All right. So let's get these precepts. Let's get this real quick. Let's see who, who even the treasury of scripture knowledge knows exactly who these scriptures are dealing with. All right. Jeremiah 31. At the same time, saith the Lord, will I be the God of the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. <laughs> Thus saith, and that be, it begins with an elect. Thus saith the Lord, the people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness, even Israel, when I went to cause him to rest. The Lord have appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I love thee with an everlasting love. John 3, 16. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Again, I will build thee. This is the prophecy. And thou shalt be built, O virgin of Israel. Thou shalt again be adorned with thy tabrets, and shalt go forth in the dances of them that make merry. Thou shalt yet plant vineyards upon the mountain of Samaria, the planters shall plant and shall eat them as common things. Mm. For there shall be a day that the watchmen upon the Mount Ephraim shall cry, Arise ye and let us go up to Zion unto the Lord our God. So that shows you that the salvation wasn't only about Judea. The salvation was about all 12 tribes. That's why the Lord said, I have sheep which are not of this fold. Because the salvation that the Messiah came to bring was for an elect from all 12 tribes, which is scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. James 1 and 1. For thus saith the Lord, sing with gladness for Jacob and shout among the chief of the nations. Publish ye, praise ye, and say, the, o, say, O Lord, save thy people, the remnant of Israel. That is the elect. It was always prophesied that the Lord was going to save the nation of Israel through an elect to a remnant by way of the Messiah. Behold, and those Corinthians that believed were to play their part in that salvation. That's why they were given the spirit to believe. That's why they believed on the Messiah. They were Israelites that were to be of that remnant, which were going to ultimately be saved in these last days. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so lucky I'm at work, so I had to deal with something there. But hey, um, 
this is beautiful. Behold, see, look, man, you can't get around. You can't get around these prophecies, man. The spirit of Yahweh Shai is a spirit of prophecy. That's why these people don't want to deal with prophecy. Because when you deal with the prophecy, the prophecy says what it says, man. And their doctrine, the doctrine of Christianity, does not line up with prophecy, man. It just doesn't add up, son. The mathematics is all wrong. If you were in math class, you'd be failing, man. You ain't getting that A star. Behold, I will bring them from the north country and gather them from the coast of the earth. Gather them who? The remnant of Israel. And with them, the blind and the lame, the woman with child and her that travaileth with children together, a great company shall return thither. Doth not the scripture say that Yahweh Shai is coming? To gather together his elect from the four corners of the earth. That's who he's talking about. Israelite men and Israelite women and Israelite young ones. A great company shall return thither. They shall come with weeping and with supplications will I lead them. I will cause them to walk by the rivers of waters in a straight way wherein they shall not stumble. For I am a father to Israel and Ephraim is my firstborn. <laughs> That's all 12 tribes Hear the word of the Lord O ye nations And declare it in the isles afar off This is why the gospel Had to be preached among all nations And say He that scattered Israel Will gather him And keep him As a shepherd doth his flock <laughs> hey man, you, hey, the Lord came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man, and elect. He gonna gather them by this word through this gospel, okay? For the Lord hath redeemed Jacob and ransomed him from the hand of him that was stronger than he. Luke 1 and 68 tells you, man, on down, that, to, to be, that we are to be delivered from our enemies, man. <laughs> Hey man, you can't get around these prophecies, man. That's why it is written, man. Uh, 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 um, uh, 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 in Matthew, or was it Matthew twenty-four, man? The Lord's gonna gather together His elect from the four corners of the earth.